this is a common issue with these leaf swing pads. So you have the mounting bolts here, and then you have a rubber pad here, and then over time, the pressure from the spring can cause that to warp. So you can see this one's been straightened out, and it's really easy to get this um, back in shape. So all you do is use the clamps, and we'll make use of both. You put them in the vise. So before that, so what we want to do is we want to position it so that this clamp is kind of supporting this section here because we want this to be pushed in. Now, if you just put this on its own into a vise, it's not really going to straighten that um, because with metal, it's a bit springy. So you'll get that flat and then you undo the vise and then you'll get that back. So what we need to do is kind of push it beyond where it is. So then all you do is, again, so you take that to the supporting part, you take that to the part that you want to push in and then simply So line those up. Just simply use the vise the way it's supposed to be used. And once it starts to get a bit hard to turn, use some kind of device there. And because this is only kind of putting pressure from here um, downwards, we'll flip this over in a minute. So okay, and then you can see that's almost coming into the right shape now. That's just the uh, bar that slips. So that's all fine. And you get to a point where it starts to get a bit easier to turn this. That just means that the metal's kind of gone back to where it used to be originally. It's kind of found its sort of metal memory. There we go, and that looks pretty straight. So now, simply undo. And we'll flip this upside down. Again, so we want to be pushing this middle part this way. So we'll just position these. And of course, these line up perfectly with the bolt holes. So line this up right in the middle. And this is almost straight. In fact, if anything, this is almost good to go. But I'm just gonna position this slightly off center there because this is quite straight here, so this won't need much. And again, just make sure you don't go too far. You just wanna go, not so that it's straight, but just slightly beyond straight, because as soon as you take the pressure off, it's gonna spring back. So that's why you go just a small amount beyond. Again, that's just that slipping, so don't worry about that. I'm just kind of eyeballing that, that looks pretty good. But we can, uh... Yeah. So if I'm just using this as a kind of straight edge, um, you can use whatever really, it just happened to be there. So I can see it's ever so slightly pronounced. So just give it a touch more. And that should be. Should be done. There you go. So we have a line here. That's pretty perfect. It might be an ever so slight kink. So we can just kind of oppose these and see. But that. That looks pretty good. So 
So now we just need to wire brush these back to bare metal, paint them, put them back on.